the hottest day of the year. Yes. And I'm standing in the sun. Yep. Hottest day of the year thus far, right? It's a beautiful May Tuesday. What's it? Close to 90. It's like, what, 87 today? Something like that. Eric was giving me grief because I was wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Yeah. That looks like a switch for heated seats. Yes, it is. Being that we have your console apart, or the center stack, as they call it, apart, I figured it'd probably be a good time to do this. Seems how we figured out that you had a dead switch. Seems, seems like a seems like a good uh, segue into what this video is this week. Oh, yeah. Since we haven't talked about that, we've got some video uh, prelude of you. Tearing apart, tearing apart the dash, <laughs> working on a switch. So here's why. What are we doing this week? Um, well, repairing a heated seat, seat switch. Um, and oh, fun fact. Yeah. As you may or may not know, I have a stripped down sport. It came with like nothing. Um, so added the aftermarket or not aftermarket. They are the Mopar um, heated seats from a Sahara, I believe. But anyway, so we wired them to. Um, you know these switches that you can buy from the from Amazon, uh, but one of the switches went bad, right? So yeah, we're replacing it. You can buy just the switches. Fun fact. So yeah, what else are we doing while we're in there? <laughs> right. While we're in there replacing <laughs> Amazon crap <laughs> with more. With more. So what are we doing? Um, this is an Amazon crap though. Although, full disclosure, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon. Um, we're putting in a Midland radio. Yeah, we're doing a GMRS radio. Yep. It's pretty cool. All your controls are on your mic, so yep. all you'll see is the mic when we're done. That's a plan. And I, mean. I was uh, pretty particular about not wanting it to be permanent. Like, I didn't want to see... When yeah. I'm not using it, I didn't want to see anything yeah, kind of left mic, out. So. And you want all that stuff removable, so we're so, going to make that happen. That's what we're going to do, so stay tuned. All new, pretty. Nice and pretty. And longer. <laughs> and no, I did not measure it because I don't do that. Yeah, it's going to be long enough. Maybe even to. Uh, it's probably going to be wiring. really long. Going to have to hide some wiring. Ta -da. Just there. like it did 10 minutes ago. <laughs> no, 10 minutes ago there was a big hole in there. <laughs> I think I made that just the right size. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see it in there, but well, I like see it. Update, Eric. So, here's. Oh. We had a good thought. We had a good thought. <clears throat> well, I'll have to see if I can link the video, but years ago, as you can see, we cut some holes in here. We mounted um, my brake controller in there. Eric, we had a brilliant idea. Um, I sold my camper last year. I don't have anything with trailer brakes anymore. So we're gonna take that out and we're gonna hide this. Right where the brake controller was, right in my glove box. You won't ever see it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see uh, where Ken's at. He's not out here. Ken! What? Where are you at? What? I thought you were finishing up the bumper. Uh, I'm uh, checking out this Jeep over here. I'll be there in a minute. I'll what be right there. there. I can come over here. What do you, what do you got going on? <laughs> I said I'd be right there. I was uh, checking out the integrity of this fender. <laughs> what? He's sitting over here. How's the beverage? 
You know it's hot as balls out in the sun. It's just Sprite, I promise. It's just Sprite. It's, you're not a paying customer, your Jeep doesn't count. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Cheater hole. You don't even need pry bars for them. They're pry tools. Grab the collet for this. Hey, Bob, you're back. I'm back. I don't think my red one's going to fit on the power line. Might need a blue. Yeah. How's it going, Eric? Oh, just finishing up Bob's radio. Yeah? Yeah. Can I help? Um, as long as you don't lean on me too hard. Speaking Everyone. of hard, he's totally Captain Morgan in here. Who's your, who's your, <laughs> who's your daddy? I, I, don't, I don't know what exactly, but somewhere near your back area. All right, so it's been a few days. Um, got the radio, the Midland radio installed. I'll uh, link to it, uh, what it is here, but just wanted to talk a little bit about why um, I went through the trouble of hiding it instead of mounting it, you know, like wherever. Um, I'm not a big fan of a cluttered dash area. I don't like it to look like an airplane cockpit because it's not an airplane. Um, I don't like a lot of stuff hanging around. So that's really the intent. And if I'm honest, you know, I got my my bomber mount, which is awesome. But other than that, eh, I don't really have anything else here. And that's the way that uh, I want it to stay, if I'm honest. I don't, like I said, like all that stuff here. So when I'm not using my radio, you know, obviously the, the radio itself kind of lives back there. You can see it along with all the napkins for my kids uh, making messes. Um, I keep the mic in the center console here. And I don't know if it's going to show up well in there, but, you know, it's got the dust boot on there. So whenever I need to use it, you know, I just screw that off. Plug that in. Fire up the Jeep. And, hey, look at that. We got, uh, we got a working mic. Plenty of reach. Um, I do have this little suction cup thing um, I just put on. I uh, intend to just keep my mic there when I'm trail riding. But, uh, you know, other than that, I don't really want a bunch of stuff laying out here. I don't like uh, the big iPads and the, you know, radios everywhere and uh, everything else. So anyway, there it is. Um, I got the Midland, uh, I think it's the 275 something. I don't remember off the top of my head. I, like I said, link it down below, but uh, I've already used it once. All right, and then when you're done using the radio, you know, you just take a little dust cap there and, and then just uh, screw it on and seal it. So, you know, there's a, Nice benefit to uh, having the poor person spec with the crank windows and without power locks because you get a little cubby here that you never use so you can hide stuff in there. So fantastic. There you go. Nice clean little install. Um, like I said, I'd like to keep it mostly stock um, without a bunch of clutter. All right, so we got the Midland radio yep. in. Got yep. the heated seat repaired. Yep. So now you're going to be taking the TJ home because you're going to leave this with me. I yep. need to do an oil change. We got some squeaky, squeaky, squeaky brakes. Break. Squeaky brakes. Yeah. So I'm going to fix some squeaky brakes and oil change, but that is not video worthy. But I mean, least, honestly, the work never stops. No. It seems like one of your Jeeps is always here, but you're going to take the TJ home for now. For now. Yep. It'll be back. 
I have no doubt. <laughs> it's a TJ. It always comes back. Well, but it's usually back for cool stuff, not just repairs. You do know, like, the whole tub fell apart. It was either, it's either in a video coming or it was already out. I don't know, but watch out for Bob's TJ videos. There's a lot of stuff. Like 26 years old. What do you expect? To retire. Never. That's not going to happen. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I can talk on my fancy radio now, so if you see me in the trails, just holler. <laughs>